like I said, there's been a lot of really good releases lately, and it's been difficult trying to catch up on them. Most of them are kind of single, so it kind of makes it easier. But um, but yeah, I wanted to talk about a few of them. A lot of big releases from uh, big artists that I especially talk about a lot on this show. So that's fun. So first, uh, first off, we've got the new album from Young Oceans, Somehow I Know It's Love. Now, generally, you have two kinds of artists. You have artists that have music that takes you soaring to different places and they take you on an adventure. Um, but then you have artists like Eric from Young Oceans who prefer to stay at home, so to speak. Uh, but Eric does a fantastic job at exploring every single room in that house. Uh, his music is simple yet still complex. He limits himself with his sound, but he makes sure to explore that sound with every possible different sound he can. Uh, I love all the all the little intricacies to what could have been a, a very boring album, honestly, if any other artist had attempted the same thing. But it's um, you've got beautiful devotional lyrics with the backdrop of lovely little soundscapes. Um, while it's it's a chill album, but it's not at all boring at all. Uh, and uh, it's I, I feel like it's gonna be end up being one of my favorite albums from this year. So yeah, definitely go check out Somehow I Know It's Love by Young Oceans. <laughs> All right, next up, we've got an artist that I have not had the chance to talk about yet, but um, I'm excited to talk about today. And it's a, it's a new single called Call Me Down by Jonathan Allen Wright. Now, for those of you who don't know uh, Jonathan Allen Wright, you know, of course, he's an independent artist, but he also has his own YouTube channel uh, that I highly recommend. He's got a lot of fun stuff, uh, content that is related to Christian music as well. So it should be right up your alley. Uh, but he released a new song, which, by the way, fun little connection here, was also produced by Spencer Annis, who produced my track. Uh, well, I guess not produced. Um, I guess mixed and mastered. Sometimes I, I get those two confused. Uh, unless he did produce that, that track. Um, I technically produced my own track. But Spencer Annis uh, mixed and mastered both of our tracks. So there's a fun little connection there. I still have, have not um, interacted with Jonathan Allen Wright, but I would like to. So Senpai notice me. <laughs> um, but uh, with this song, Call Me Down, honestly, I haven't been able to get enough of this song. Uh, it may not seem like at first because it's such a chill song, but it's incredibly catchy. Uh, the instrumentation... It doesn't seek to show off, but it's so beautiful and confident in its beauty. Um, like if you're really listening to it, you can you can hear and be like, oh, that was really cool. That's like a really cool piano part. Oh, that's a cool like cello part. Uh, but it's a wonderful song telling the story of Zacchaeus as it uh, as it becomes a song about desire for our savior and how he calls us to him and, and calls us home. It's a really beautiful song uh and i recommend you check it out and check out his other music but this new one is i've been a really big fan of lately so call me down jonathan allen wright all right big release from one of my favorite artists josh Garrels finally releasing more music. I mean, he released a single last year, but he's releasing more and he's working on a new album, uh, working on releasing it. I don't know if it's done yet, but he's got a new track called Watchmen. And this song is an encouragement to all Christians. Josh sings of all the dark times he's been through, especially the times that have caused his friends to fall astray. You know, on the topic of uh, deconstruction. But even through all of that, Josh still chooses to wait on the Lord and his promises. Uh, it's a beautiful folk 
track, folk rock track that crescendos and has uh, plenty of soul to it. So uh, it's a it's a nice it's a nice track, and uh, I can't wait for the rest of the album. So that's Watchmen by Josh Garrels. All right, another big release from a favorite artist of a lot of people, actually. We've got new music coming out from John Foreman, you know, of Switchfoot fame, but, you know, he's got his solo stuff. And uh, it's, a, it's a track called In Bloom, and it features uh, Jay Oladokun. Oladok- I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. She's not really that prevalent in the track anyways, more of kind of a backup singer in the song. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a new track called in bloom and, um, I've probably talked about it on the show about like how much I I've loved, uh, his early solo stuff. Um, uh, his album limbs and branches was what my big introduction to him, even though limbs and branches was, um, a collab, a, uh, com compilation of his, uh, music from his, uh, you know, winter, uh, fall, winter, summer, spring EPs um, just kind of put together in one album. But that's the one that I knew first. Um, but yeah, I love his his early solo stuff. One thing that's been missing from John's most recent solo releases that I love so much about Limbs and Branches and all those season EPs was the creative and, and detailed production, uh, as well as the songwriting. Uh, it's been a while since I've listened to Departures or The Wonderlands, but I remember feeling like those releases were missing that little bit of, of dirtiness and beauty that I loved about his early stuff. And I personally believe In Bloom is a return to form, actually. Uh, it's a fresh new sound, but John is back to wonderfully crafting all these different sounds and, and turn them into music. Uh, John sings about rebirth, change, new life, regrowth. Um, so it's a fun track that's, uh, that's full of life. It's pretty chill, but it's full of life, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited for, for what this new album is going to be. I think it, it's supposed to be out this summer, I think. So, But this is, a, this is a good sign for what the rest of the album could sound like. So uh, yeah, that's In Bloom by John Foreman. I'm a desert in blue. I'm a desert in blue. All right, and that's all I got for my humble opinion. Well, hello there. Thanks so much for watching this video. It means a lot. Uh, not sure if you noticed, but this is actually a clip from a longer full-length episode that you can go check out right now on my main channel on Clifford today because this channel is just a clips and highlights channel because you know it's this you if you're not you're not a real youtuber unless you have multiple channels so anyways go like and subscribe and all that stuff I love you